Time to make quick work of Giovanni. After all, I can't imagine this is gonna be a long fight. I'm mostly doing this split up this way because I don't want to get stuck in the middle of the Elite Four in this group of five episodes. So yeah, we cut an episode uh, a bit short because of that. It's like, I know the Elite Four is gonna prove bothersome. It always does. Um, mostly because they have much higher levels in Gen 1, so... It's a lot harder to steamroll them through the main after you got done with the main game. I mean, even with only one Pokemon, we usually still run the problems there. Just because all of a sudden, you know, you're jumping up to, like, level 55 Pokemon. So I'm probably going to have to grind out some levels just by throwing myself at them. And losing. Badly. That tends to be a pretty common thing there. Oh, well. Yeah, this is going to be like one of those like two minutes or less uh, episodes. Because let's face it, th there's no way, you know, the last Pokemon's going to really add that much challenge to this. Like, you'd have to have some insane ability or something to possibly be a challenge, and it's just Cryhorn. I don't know why he saves it for last. Like, this is my ace. Like, like not even a Rhydon. Like, he hasn't evolved it. Like, why not? Like, it wouldn't make it that much better, in my opinion. I mean, I know Rhydon, you know, is well-known in the competitive scene, you know, for Gen 1. Because you gotta use the rocks for pivoting and stuff. But, it's hard to take them seriously. You know, when you're playing the main game. Because, just like, rocks get washed away real fast. Like, every time. Well, I'll do it for this episode. Next time, we'll uh, deal with our rival. Until then, see ya.